book. Uh, you don't get a quest update or anything. You just get like, you just read the book, and then you go to that place and that uh, the monsters there that was described in the in the journal, and the corpse of the guy who wrote the journal, and then you just kill the monster, to get the loot. There's no real quest there, but it's just like a subtle quest. It's like organic. It's like uh, realistic. It's like what would actually happen if you were if you came across someone's notes and you read through them. And then you, you went to those places that were described in the notes and you found those things. There are at least 50 skill books. That's good. So like in Oblivion you had the manual of arms, increased your defense or increased your blade skill. Um, so there will be 50 of those. So what does that mean? 50 skill points? Or does that mean 50 skill books? Like if you read one. Is it like Fallout? You, you find a skill book and you learn it. Uh, you click it, it's like... Uh, or skill comics and that. Uh, you click it and you get a skill point and then you click it. You click. You get an identical one. You click it, you get another skill point. It's going to be like that or it's going to be like an Oblivion. If you read it once, that's it. You only get one skill point for that book. Uh, if you find the same book again, you can't get a skill point again. Um, we'll find out that soon anyway. And finally, you can collect Daedric artifacts. So that's all for the Skyrim information, um, this has been quite a long video I'm sure, I'll probably split it into two parts at least. I may do one this week and one next week, so by next week this will be the um, 6th of November and we'll have 5 days till Skyrim, so I'll be very very close to Skyrim. Uh, I've already pre-ordered my copy, that's for sure, I've pre-ordered it on Steam as well as a hard copy from uh, I think it was Amazon um, although the cloth map isn't guaranteed with that copy but I do did pre actually pre-order it for the cloth map they did say on the blog the Bethesda blog that every single hard copy would get a cloth map so I'm just praying that I do get the cloth map because obviously they promised it to every hard copy who pre-ordered so it's a bit of a shame that you can't get it with the Steam version, but obviously it's not a hard copy, so you can't really download a cloth map. It's a high quality, like, burlap style map. It's going to be very nice addition, so you just have it sitting on your table. You can uh, refer to it if you're lost or if you want to, where you want to go as you're actually traveling instead of having to go to the map. So that'll be nice. Um, it's quite a lot of information. That's a very good uh, source. Uh, I think he collected it from all around the internet, so he put it together in one uh, concise uh, forum post, which is awesome. It's called the most detailed and up-to-date Skyrim information thread, and it's been updated on the 28th of the 10th, 2011. That's today. Uh, 13 days left, he says. That is right. That is correct. Uh, it's on the Nexus forums. You can check it out. Just look up Skyrim information on the forums. Or type in uh, Google Skyrim info. Uh, I've been re reading through it, so you don't have to. And uh, give my opinion on uh, all the aspects, obviously. Um, some of it is quite overpowered, but uh, it is streamlining a lot of stuff uh, that was in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and making it more uh, user friendly, more. It's like easy to play, but hard to master. So. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching uh, this Skyrim random commentary. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.